What's going on? Back at you again with another breakdown of this New England schedule this time around. <clears throat> and it's not looking good for them week one. Week one, they get to play the second, the runners up to the championship. So this is not going to be a good thing for them come week one. They're going to completely get slapped week one. So against the Eagles. I think you and I can all agree that this is going to be a loss. And if they don't lose, this only speaks to why this channel exists. <laughs> if they actually end up beating the Patriots, then we know it's a rig job. And that's why my channel exists, because of the rig. Like, what else can I say? They should lose this game. If they don't, it was written in the stars. So then they play Miami next. Uh, I have them losing. I'm looking at the Dolphins, and I picked them to lose that game. So we got to stay consistent. I don't think they would beat them anyway. So that's 0-2 to start the year. Not good. Then they play the Jets. That's not going to be good for them. I'm going to have to give them an L here because I had the Jets winning. So I have to stay consistent with that. Then they play Dallas. They play the Cowboys. This this will be a good game. This is going to be based out of coaching, mostly. Both teams don't have that many stars. The Cowboys let go of a lot of players. Two years ago to now, the Cowboys team looks way different. New England kind of looks the same, honestly. I think I would take New England in this. I don't think Dallas is going to be good next year. They've lost players. Dak isn't that good. They lost their O.C., I, I just don't think Dallas is going to be good next year. I think New England will win this game. I'll give New England the dub here. <clears throat> then they go to New Orleans, the Saints. they going to play the Saints. Derek Carr is over there. They got Michael Thomas, Chris Olave, Alvin Kamara. I'm going to have to pick the Saints, man. I think the Saints are a better team. So that's an L for the Patriots. Looks like the Mac Jones experiment is going to come to a conclusion. If the Pats are smart, they could tank this year and then get that quarterback from USC. Who knows what New England decides. If they come out and they start 0-5, 0-4, something like that, they might as well tank and then get a new quarterback because they haven't been high on Mac since his first year. <clears throat> and even then, it wasn't that great. It was pedestrian. Now they're going to play the Raiders, who's also going to be tanking. There's at least three teams that, two teams that are going to be tanking, the Raiders and the Cardinals. I think Washington should also tank, and I also think the Patriots should tank, honestly. I don't think Mac Jones is anything special. Mac Jones should have been in the league 20 years ago. He's, he, I think the way his style of play is just, it's not going to work anymore. It's like he should have been in the league 20 years earlier. The league has turned into more of an athletic type of league, big arm, playmaker type. He's not. That's not who he is. He's a distributor. So that's going to fare very bad for them. I think they're going to win this game, though, because the Raiders are tanking. Poor Deion, or Devontae Adams. Poor Devontae. <laughs> he's on this team. He didn't sign up for this. He thought he was going to play with Derek Carr. Now he's got... No quarterback, and that it all worked out bad for him. But if he stayed in, uh, what's it called? If he stayed in Green Bay, it wouldn't have been much better for him. Aaron Rodgers ended up leaving. Now you're stuck with this guy anyway. So either way, he would have been screwed. If receivers are smart, they would just sign. Well, actually, I see. I know why they sign big year contracts because if they get hurt and then they need guarantees. They can't just do one-year deals because if they get hurt that year, they're not going to get paid the next year. So I can see why he did it, but it bites you in the ass. All right, then they play the Bills. I had the Bills beating them, so they're going to lose that one. Uh, Miami. Uh, Dolphins. I had them losing that one. Then they're going to play the Commanders. This is going to be a stinker. But I guess they'll probably win that one. 
I trust Mac Jones a little bit more than Taylor Heineke. Then Indianapolis, they're going to have their rookie out there by now. They're not a good team, but, well, it might turn around. I'm picking Indy. I'm picking Indy just because of the rookie quarterback. I'm hearing good things from him. I, I like him more than Mac Jones. The guy can move and throw. Mac can only throw a little bit. Yeah, it's not looking like a good year for the Pats right now, man. It's just not. Uh, all right, so now they go play the Giants. I think they can beat the Giants. We don't even know if Saquon's going to be out there. I'm, I'm going to pick them to pick the Giants, to beat the Giants. Uh, then they play the Chargers. Chargers. Let's see. I don't think they can beat the Chargers. The Chargers should be able to handle them. Then they play Pittsburgh. The Steelers. Huh. That's going to be a decent game, but I think Kenny Pickett's better. I think their offense is better. I'm going to pick the Steelers. Then they play Kansas City. Like I think we know what happens there. Hold on, hold on yeah. Uh, duh, duh, duh. yeah. That's a loss. You're not going to beat the Chiefs, guys. Come on, let's face it. Then they play Denver, the Broncos. The Broncos can definitely beat them. And I think they will beat them. And then they play Buffalo. And that's another loss. And then they play New York. I gave the Pats the win there. Alright, let's count out their wins. One, two, three, four, five wins. So again, it could be either seven or three. So it's within two up, two down. So they can get as much as seven or as little as three wins. But five is the average as to what I think they'll be getting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Five and twelve. But let's face it, man. This Pats team is not good, man. They, they got Bill O'Brien back, who's already been there and couldn't even win with Tom Brady. So now you're telling me he's going to come in and be successful with Mac Jones. And they still don't have a number one wideout. All they have is a running game. I'll give them that. They can run the football. But other than that, I don't trust their passing game consistently. They'll get they'll complete passes here and there. But consistently, all game long, all season long, if all these other teams we looked at are just better than them, seemingly. They all have a better quarterback, except for the teams that I picked to beat them. Or if I picked them to beat. Those those teams have a worse quarterback. Other than that, every other team is built better and have a better quarterback. So I don't know how I can pick the Pats to beat some of these teams. I did give them the Jets late in the year, but it's only because I think the Jets are going to be sitting people that, that game. So they'll take advantage. I think the Jets will make the playoffs. And the Dolphins. I think the Bills might just miss it this year. Just because they're not as good as they were last year. Well, let me take that back. Because Von Miller does come back. But they have no run game. I think teams are going to figure them out a little bit more. Because you got to pick six new playoff teams, guys. It's not going to be the same teams. The NFL does this every year. It's six new teams make it. So you got to take six teams out and six new ones. That's how it goes. Every year, guys. And it's always six new teams. So I'm going to start thinking about what teams are going to be going in. But in the meantime, we'll keep doing this. Tomorrow we'll do the Chiefs, and then we'll go from there. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.